when your friends drive all the way from Texas. Okay, hopefully she don't shock herself. Yeah, I did it right. <laughs> well, that's better. Is that better? Like a Welcome to my crazy life as a first generation female farmer, the Chronicles of Kayla. Good morning, it's Friday. Um, I'm getting ready to make milk. I'm a little bit later getting out of the house. It's like 8.30. Um, getting ready to go milk, chore, run to town. I have a bunch to get done today. Parts running, meeting a friend for lunch, all the things. Um, I also am preparing Jalen and I are going out of town tomorrow for another cheer competition. And then I have a special friend showing up tomorrow afternoon. She'll probably actually get here before I do. And then her and I are going to South Dakota Sunday. So road trip all weekend. How many states can I see? Stick her out. Okay, so I'm making milk for the little guy at the farm. His mom had mastitis um, and just stopped producing milk altogether. He's also blind. He was born blind. Um, kind of had these like ulcers over his eye and the vet kind of had told me to do some stuff. And it appears that he can see a little bit. Like he can see you as soon as you get like within a couple feet of him. So like he can fall to the bottle and all this stuff. Uh, but he's pretty much reliant on, on us. I'm looking for, there, I know they make them, I just have to find them. There are buckets, they go on like stalls and they have the nipples. So that way I, like he can have water because it's gonna start eventually warming up and he just can't find the water bucket. And thankfully we haven't had to have another bottle cap. Um, I thought I was gonna have another one, but I haven't. Her mom actually ended up taking her, like fully taking her. So we'll get him going and we'll run a couple errands and then we'll go meet for lunch and come back and I just got a lot of stuff I got to get up. Wonder. Last night he only took one bottle, so maybe I will just make him one bottle and then if he needs another one, I'll make another one at lunch. Um, wash out these bottles um, every evening I bring them home disinfect them run them to the dishwasher you know keep everything clean um, I've been using this screw-on bottle um, lid versus like the pull-on nipple style like what I grew up with just because it's easier for Jalen to help me feed these screw-on ones are ten times easier and you like can get it on and you don't have to worry about flipping the bottle over when you're putting on the old style nipple so that's my little two cents on bucket feeding, bottle feeding calves. Maxie, are you ready to go? Did you go to town? Hmm? Did you go to town? Oh, goodness. All right, let's go. Okay, I was expecting it to be a little bit more chillier outside today, but it's not so bad. Actually, I really wanted to catch the moon this morning. It was gorgeous. Orange, beautiful. Huh. You definitely tell spring is in the air because everything's starting to green up. And our oats are um, coming up nicely. You can really row them along the way. Jason's delivering the hay, so he took Ryder and I got Roxanne. So we'll just get today rolling. You can kind of row it out there in certain areas. So we did plant this in oats. You can go back and watch that. Jason did that while I was gone. Where was I at? Kansas, I guess. He planted that. You can go back and watch that video. Um, we're going to be, we've discussed, anyway, round baling these oats for haylage, wet baling them. We'll see when we can get them off. It's a trial and error. We want to have something here before we planted the corn and get an extra source of feed for our cows. We will be planting the corn silage again here as you know, last year was a very droughty year. So when we put on that corn, it literally sat there for like 
May, June, July, really August, almost four months just sitting in the ground because we didn't have it. And then August hit, and we got like a week's worth of rain, and it was beautiful. And then our corn came up, but it didn't make anything, really. So, and by then we'd already um, chopped um, like 80 some acres, maybe, maybe a little bit more of corn down the road of our neighbors. So last year was just a lot. It was a long, hard, hot summer for many reasons. But we're gonna go down, grab the pickup. I'm not walking all the way to the farm. A little bit too much today for that. Although it is gorgeous. I really don't need my coat out. It's beautiful. The sun is shining. It is gorgeous. I will not complain. You may have to get Keaton to mow the yard. We'll feed little man here and then we'll take a walk through the herd and run a few errands and then do some more stuff and run some more errands. I really need to take some time to come over here and clean this over here, but you know, it's a never ending job. Farm life, farm work, farmer, farm mom, business associate, farm accountant. I'm sure there's something I'm missing. Right now it seems like all I do is parts run. And I'm not really fond of that, to be honest. I thrive best when I'm like actually busy, like in a tractor, like actually working. And yesterday I probably pushed myself a little bit too hard trying to help Jason get stuff done. And I, I'm definitely feeling sore today. But farming doesn't stop, <laughs> no matter what, no matter what happens in life. Sometimes God just has a way of saying, you need to slow down or I will make you slow down. And that's kind of what he did. Um, one day at a time. Just thankful that the sun is shining. I could probably actually lose this coat. It's actually warm enough that I don't really need it. But it was colder this morning. Or it felt colder anyway, I guess. And maybe it's because the wind's not blowing over here for once. Seems like the wind just always blows anymore. But it's really calm today. I wonder what that means. I should maybe check the weather, huh? You're just playing. Yeah, you're just playing with it. You drank it dry. Some things I never thought I would catch myself doing. Um, painting the yard green. I am actually doing some stuff for Jay's cheer team tomorrow. We have another competition, so she wanted me to help her make some pins. So today I um, spray painted a bunch of clothes pins, which apparently is not enough. She told me I needed to pick some more up. So. I spray painted and waiting for these to dry. And then I'm gonna go to lunch. And I painted some of myself. So guys, we are cleaning up trees at Chris's new property they brought. And Dad's in there right now just cleaning up, making sure getting all these trees out.
when your friends drive all the way from Tennessee and they need electrical tape. Goodness gracious. Drove all the way to, from Tennessee to get Missouri electrical tape. Uh, I wish it was a little bit more daylight. You guys can't see her. <laughs> I'm in a 44 party. I hate 44 parties. I just hate mine. I was gonna say, mine's not in this bad this shape not, as no. yours. Okay, hopefully she don't shock herself. <laughs> yeah. Go that way. Does yours have a horn? Because my horn does not work. No, we do not have a horn. Come on, girls. Move, so move. what do you do, like? Just... So we'll go over oh here. Oh my god, it does not even move. They don't even move. Oh my god, don't run away. He's coming to make sure we're good for our road trip. <laughs> from hell. <laughs> Sorry, a road trip from hell. Yeah, I did it right. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's better. Is that better? It looked like a tower last night. We got tarp straps in the back, too, so. Okay. All right, bye. I think it's gonna work. Love you. Prayers and yeah, well, we'll get there sooner or later, right? Massey's pulling rusty today. <laughs> hey! Hey, that's what we do. What are you talking about? That's a Greeks Farm special right there. Yeah. Hey, whatever gets the job whatever done. Whatever works, right? What are you doing? What's your plan of action? Uh, we're setting up uh, waterways and grass strips and reclaiming some ground. Are you- uh, That we burnt off last that night. That we burnt are off? You gonna, are you gonna break another stump buster? Gosh, no. I hope not, because nobody's going to be around to that one's a lot longer, retrieve though. it. I'll have a lot, of, <laughs> lot more leverage. I think I can take down bigger trees. Okay, well, have fun. Uh, 21 calved. Can't guarantee you that it will be alive when you go check on it later, because she was tossing it around like a ragdoll. Oh, great. Okay. If the baby doesn't live, guess where she's going this week? So far. Uh, so no. Her Come butt's on, going in to be eight. Oh, heck yeah. All right. Okay, I'll see you later. She's going to be food. Bye. Love you. Because we got to get ready for a snowstorm. <laughs> we need new wiper blades. Matthew, we need to talk. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> so our road trip is off to a great start. Hey, do you want to keep these little things? Do you need these? No, no. I'm so recording. And grossness! YouTubers in the wild. YouTubers in the wild. We're in South Dakota. We're in South Dakota. Bouncing around like pinball machines. Pinball. <laughs> <laughs> They're roads. So we
maybe let's get scared and pick up some scoops and kind of fill us in. It'd be nice if it's just a nice gradual swell through here. nearly as fast to bring it down here. What's that? Probably nearly as fast to bring it down here. Hey, Dan. Hi. Okay. There's your coffee. Breakfast. Ice. Oh, ice everywhere. God, why? <laughs> oh, it's going to be fun going home. So, all right. You ready? Oh, my nose is running. Everything is just... <laughs> yes! We can do this! Psych ourselves up. Psyching my <laughs> probably stay in a hotel somewhere. <laughs> we'll make it. Man. <sighs> okay, good times. Well, we are getting Kelly's grain sweep bin thing. I don't know. In a big box. Um, grab my coat and jump out and help her strap down, even though that's not something I'm very good at. Hopefully it makes it. God bless. The things you do for a friend. Ridiculous. <laughs> and then this isn't even attached, so it's gonna be fun trying to get this done. This is your specialty. This is not my specialty. Straps not your specialty. No. What? You guys don't strap stuff down? No. Wow. We just load and go, baby. Load OSHA, and go. Baby. OSHA. No, ma'am. Load and go. Oh, yay. Even yeah. better. It's a good thing there's a local favorite around. I'm just not going to touch any more buttons. I won't do anything with that. Not going to touch any buttons. You know what? Whatever. We find a way when we find a way, man. <laughs> this is ridiculous. But there's light at the end of the tunnel. Look how pretty it is over there. Also kind of eerie, too. Yeah. And some other ship landing. But the mountains are oh, pretty. Oh, like you can see the sun too. Yeah, the sun is oh, trying nice. to but get But yet over through. here, it's just crap. Hey, at least we've not hit any snow. Burning, and over there it looks like blue. It's another one of those situations where we've got storms in Texas, Louisiana, Arkansas, eventually in Mississippi. We're also going to be dealing with that up there in uh, portions of uh, Iowa and uh, maybe uh, Missouri as well. Okay? Maybe Missouri. Um, oh, joy. Uh, I know, but today, it's probably got, North uh, Iowa be, or Northern right. Missouri because it's, it's talking in Iowa. Effect, uh, from okay, cool. Colorado up through so Nebraska. we should be okay. Like we should get you ahead of the game uh, got a lot of winter before storm that. Warnings up into Minnesota and uh, one of us has arrived home. <laughs> Not me. Not Kelly. <laughs> Not me. No, ma'am. Not arriving home yet. No. Hey, I'm going to park in this dead end and hope to God nobody shows up. It's okay. You'll be fine. That's what I figured. It won't be yeah. fine because then I can just back out. Yep. If it wasn't, hadn't been raining all day, you could just use my circle drive. Yeah. Like I do. Like I do. Yeah. <laughs> like you do. <laughs> There is an entrance, like if you wanted to, you could instead of like backing out on the road, you could back in and out the at, like the uh, field entrance I'll if you wanted back to. Right now, it's gonna be green. Okay. Bye, friend. Okay, we go do chores. It's been a whirlwind. Um, so Jason is waiting on me to come down and chore. Kelly just dropped me off made milk she's headed back home it's still raining thank you jesus for some rain it's much appreciated so nice